morning everybody, it's Chris here from Serene Education with the last Forex updates for the 27th of October 2010. Uh, we're looking at the US dollar against the Japanese yen uh, on a larger time frame. We've got a weekly chart in the top left hand corner followed right down to an hourly chart in the bottom right. Okay, you want to do this primarily on a Sunday evening. I um, just want to give you a heads up on how we read it. Um, all you long term traders, it's quite beneficial. If you find it difficult to trade intraday, then I suggest looking at a time frame like this, for example, which is great. Uh, weekly time frame, we have the major trend is still negative, but we have a, a you can see a noticeable uh, support area forming around about the 8100 mark. This is after two consecutive weeks of indecision, and now we have a nice hammer forming. Uh, this is a bull hammer clearing. If it could stay like that, then we could see this is a, a positive sign that we could see a, um, a potential push. Um, back up to 8400, a previous support area. So the trend line still in play. Uh, ideally, if this would happen, we could see just the momentum carrying it through. Um, but as it stands, it's a good sign. As long as it can stay that that way, we 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 could see a a definite change to the upside. We could see um, some some bullish momentum creeping in. As it stands at the moment, now we have a possible support area. I mentioned 8400. Uh, would possibly be event, but we've also got a, 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 a small, well, if you wanted to call it a support around this area at 8300. And you can see this um, on our daily time frame. Uh, yesterday's trading, nice bullish engulfing, and Asian market trading has just taken, well, to the, the European session as well as Asian has taken it forward. Um, and we're seeing exactly that. So as it stands now, um, this could be a good uh, indication that we could see we're changing a guard on a smaller time frame. So uh, a close higher could t could significantly uh, give us an uh, idea that we could see a push towards 8300 mark for this pair, which is great. CTC is not lining up. Um, that would come in time, but I can show you on our four hour and our hourly, you're probably be seeing that. Yes, there we go. We've got our blue arrow and candles on our blue. Now we could just wait for the blue across the side. So that'll probably come uh, the, the higher we go. Um, as I mentioned, 8300 would be our potential um, first target. Um, there's a bit of resistance coming in, it creeping in. A break above that would definitely solidify this on both sides in terms of the blue buying um, candle. You can see that that downtrend, that major downtrend has been broken, which is a great sign for this. So all we need now is a confirmation that uh, possible pullback and continuation to the upside would be great. But as you can see, that major trend has now been broken and the moving average crossover is going to take place soon so what we'd see now is a new trend starting um, just looking at the initial start of this, yeah we're hitting 26.1.8% FIB so we could see a bit of a pullback occurring or stop here at 8200 look for a bit of consolidation before another uh, move to the upside um, that will probably be shown on our hourly chart. Yeah, you can see it's pulling back slightly now. That 21.8, uh, 261.8 FIB area. Uh, but I, as I mentioned, as long as it can stay above that breakout area, um, anything above 81.80, then we are happy. So, staying on the positive side of 81.80, we can see some further upside movements. Um, a break lower than that could see the pair retesting previous uh, breakout areas around about 81.50. So. That's it for the US dollar Japanese pair analysis for today. Hope you have a fantastic day. Keep it simple. Um, only trade when you see the setup. And when you see the setup, make sure your money manager is in place. And importantly, just trade serenely.